Hello friends, welcome to my channel World of Physical Chemistry. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up a rate law for a given complex reaction with the interesting examples. Chemical reactions we can classify into two categories as elementary reactions and complex reaction. But remember on what basis we can classify it? that classification we can make on the basis of in how many steps the reaction is proceed. If the reaction is proceed in a single step, that reaction is called as an elementary reaction. For example, reactant A gives product B or reactant A plus B gives product C. This is the elementary reaction, that is reaction completed in a single step. Why? The reaction which is not completed in a single step, that is completed in several steps, that reactions are called as a complex reactions. And there are various types of complex reaction. This is the one of the example of complex reaction, that is the opposing reaction. It is the type first order opposed by first order. If such a reaction is given to us, how to set up a rate law? Okay, that is very simple to write a rate law for such a reaction, no need to mug up or remember, just find out the trick. What is that trick? How we can write a rate law for such a reaction? The rate is equal to change in concentration of A with respect to time T. Here, as regularly we put up negative or positive sign for reactant or product, here we are not write negative or positive sign because here A is forming as well as disappearing. That magnitude of sign we are written on the right hand side. Okay, for such reaction, rate of forward reaction minus rate of backward reaction. Just we have to count what is the rate of forward reaction in this direction and what is the rate of backward reaction in backward direction. Therefore, we can write rate is equal to for change in concentration of A with respect to time T is equal to rate of forward reaction. Forward reaction that is formation of B is takes place. Therefore, we can write Kf, it is the rate constant for forward reaction and this formation of B depends on concentration of A. Okay, what is the rate of backward reaction? That is in backward reaction B is disappearing, therefore we put up a negative sign. Now we realize a minus and it is rate constant Kb and its disappearance depends on its own concentration. This is the rate law for A in this. Similarly for B, rate is equal to change in concentration of B with respect to time T is equal to same formula. Let us discuss another example. Here the reaction is written in which reactant A gives the product B through the intermediate R. It is nothing but the example of again the complex reaction, particularly the consecutive or sequential reaction. Now for such a reaction, we can easily set up the rate law for reactant as well as product like as rate is equal to change in concentration of reactant with respect to time t. Here it is disappear therefore we put up a negative sign and this disappearance is associated with rate constant k1 therefore it is k1 and concentration of A is disappearing it depends on its own concentration. Therefore, K1 into concentration of A. This is rate law for reactor. For product, here the product B is forming on the, it depends on the concentration of intermediate, not on reactant. For such a case, we can write rate is equal to change in concentration of B with respect to time T. Here B is forming, therefore we put up a positive sign. And this formation of B from I with the rate constant K2 and this formation depends on concentration of intermediate. Now, the main question of such an example is how to set up a rate law for this intermediate? It is very simple. Very simple. In such a case, you have to consider two things. You have to identify the rate of formation of intermediate as well as the rate of decomposition of intermediate. And we can write rate is equal to change in concentration of intermediate that is I with respect to time T is equal to rate of formation of I. 
वट इज रेट ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ आय दट इज आय इज फॉर्म वेन द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ ए चेंजेस विद द रेट कॉन्स्टेंट के वन देफ वी कैन राइट के वन इन टू कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ ए आय इज फॉर्मिंग देफ अ पॉजिटिव साइन नो नीड टू राइट नाउ आय इज डीकम्पोज इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप फॉर डीकम्पोजिशन वी पुट अप अ निगेटिव साइन एंड विद द रेट कॉन्स्टेंट के टू and its decomposition depends on its own concentration therefore it is concentration of i this is the way of writing the rate law for such a complex reaction this is all about for how to set up a rate law for a given complex reaction it is very easy just you have to remember how to set up the rate law with this previous and this example